So we're ready for the council general when she, as soon as she is ready. And be sure the green light is on at the base of your microphone and speak directly into the microphone and uh, please address the legislative body. Anyone in the audience, I'm going to ask you to. to Mr. Mayor, thank quiet. you very much for having me tonight. I am here as requested from the city of Carson. I'm here today to declare the support of the Republic of Turkey for the Ataturk Monument Project and to explain the importance of this project for the Turks living all around the world, as well as those who uphold the values and ideas of Ataturk. To understand the true significance of Ataturk and why we cherish him so greatly, if you allow me, I'd like to describe Ataturk from the eyes of some foreign statesmen. After that, I would like to mention three people that had an important impact on the life of Ataturk. Winston Churchill, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, upon the death of Ataturk, expresses his thoughts as such. Ataturk, who saved Turkey during the war and revived the Turkish nation, is not only a loss for his country, but it is also a great loss for Europe. The sincere tears that people from all classes have shed are nothing more than the true reflection of this great man, the father of the modern Turkey. The sincere tears shed after him by all classes of people is nothing other than an appropriate manifestation to this great hero in modern Turkey's Atta. John F. Kennedy, on the 25th commemoration of Atatürk's death, issued a statement saying, Atatürk reminds mankind of the historical accomplishments of one of the greatest men of this century. His leadership gave inspiration to the Turkish nation, far-sightedness in the understanding of the modern world, and courage and power as a military leader. It is without a doubt that another example cannot be shown indicating greater successes than the birth of the Turkish Republic, and ever since then, Ataturk's and Turkey's broad and deep reforms undertaken, as well as the confidence of a nation in itself. Bill Clinton on December 31, 1999, when delivering a speech during the Millennium Around the World celebration remarks. In the time it took the light from Orion to reach Earth, Leif Erikson sailed, Gutenberg printed, Galileo dared, Shakespeare wrote, Elizabeth ruled, Mozart composed, Jefferson drafted, Bolivar liberated, Lincoln preserved, Einstein dreamed, Ataturk built, Roosevelt read, Gandhi preached, Mother Teresa healed, Montana triumphed. Now I would like to briefly talk about the three people that had an important role in the life of Ataturk. The first gentleman was a man who had warned Ataturk before his departure to Samsung where he was to start the national struggle. That there was a ship in the Black Sea waiting to sink the Bandirma boat that was to carry Ataturk on his journey. By doing so, he had saved the life of Ataturk. This gentleman's name was Barch Kerestegian. Kerestegian was also the first parliamentarian of Armenian descent to serve in the Turkish Grand National Assembly. The second gentleman, was a soldier that served in the Ottoman army at the Syrian front. He had drawn the attention of Ataturk during their first encounter. Ataturk, upon meeting him, had asked him had asked this young soldier to work with him at the headquarters. He had saved the life of Ataturk when Ataturk's tent was attacked. He was wounded during that attack. This man's name was Garabet Kambalyan. The third gentleman was a reserve officer at the Syrian front. Ataturk was very much influenced by his ideas about democracy and frequently consulted him. Being a linguist, this man was invited in 1932 to the first Turkish language congress supervised by Ataturk. His presentation was so impressive that he was appointed by Ataturk as the head specialist and secretary general of the newly founded Turkish Language Association in Ankara. Ladies and gentlemen, this man was also the person who had proposed and supported giving the last name Ataturk for Mustafa Kemal. And this gentleman's name was Agop Martayan. 
I think this monument will not only honor Atatürk, but also all of those who were willing to sacrifice their lives, as well as those who shared and continue to share the ideas and vision of a greater leader. Thank you very much.